Hey guys, welcome to this video. And in this video, I want to answer a question about how to distinguish between agentic alopecia and the telephilum effluvium or stress related hair loss. And for you guys watching this channel for the first time, my name is Alex. I've been suffering hair loss myself since I was 18 years old, but I was able to recover my hair. I'm now 38 years old and I still have my hair. So in this video, I want to address a question about how to note this difference between uh, genetic alopecia or male pattern baldness and the uh, telephone effluvium or stress related hair loss. And the thing with those two different conditions is that, for example, if there is telephone effluvium, things happen much faster. The hair are falling out much faster, in much faster speed. It's not a gradual process, right? Because if there is, for example, male pattern baldness, it uh, can happen or it occurs over the years, right? It is not something that happens short term, like sudden increased hair loss. And uh, usually if there is increased hair loss suddenly, that's usually either is, for example, a telephone effluvium, or it is basically caused by other online problems like scalp problems or internal factors. And the uh, other things that we can use to identify if it is tele telephone effluvium is basically white bulbs, right? And if there is, for example, the hair that are falling out rapidly and they have a white bulbs at the end of them, that usually means that it is a telephone effluvium. And again, like um, white bulbs can also be caused by dermatitis, but if those bulbs are large and a lot of the hairs that are falling out have them, then basically it is uh, most likely telephone effluvium that is causing it. So this is basically my take on it and uh, answer to this question. Thanks for watching this video and see you next time. Cheers.